arithmetic series. Karl Friedrich Gauss is one of the world's most famous mathematicians. Gauss was about 9 years old, already a super genius. As usual, the teacher walked into the class and gave them a hurriedly tedious arithmetic problem. They were to work on it and not bother him. Here was the day's problem. Add the integers from 1 to 100. To the surprise of the teacher, Goss was able to add these numbers more quickly than expected. The boy presented his answer and solution. His answer was 5050, and it was correct. Goss had figured out mentally. So how did Goss find out the correct answer? So using this pattern. He discovered that when he divides 1 to 100 into 2 and combining the first number 1 and the last number which is 100, it gives a total of 101. You also have 2 added to 99 that is also equal to 101. 3 added to 98 it is equal to 101 4 added to 97 that is 101 5 plus 96 equals 101 and 50 added to 51 is equal to 101 he discovered that when he added two numbers the result is always the same therefore he multiplied 101 times 50 pairs of terms that's why it becomes 5050 who is carl friedrich goss he is considered as the prince of mathematicians the greatest mathematician since antiquity at just three years old he corrected an error in his father's payroll calculations he was looking after his father's accounts on a regular basis by the age of five. At the age of seven, he is reported to have amazed his teachers by summing the integers from 1 to 100. By the age of 12, he was already attending gymnasium and criticizing Euclid's geometry. The problem that we had a while ago leads to his discovery on arithmetic series. And what is arithmetic series? It is an expression denoting the sum of the terms of an arithmetic sequence. Formula for finding the sum of an arithmetic sequence. The sum S sub n of the first n terms of an arithmetic series is we have the first formula S sub n is equal to n over 2 times the quantity of a sub 1 plus a sub n and the second formula we have s sub n is equal to n over 2 times the quantity of 2 times a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d where a sub 1 is the first term a sub n is the nth term n is the number of terms and d is the common difference let us consider the first example find the sum of the first terms of the sequence 5 9 13 using the first formula we have s sub n equals n over 2 times the quantity of a sub 1 plus a sub n in this case we need to find a 17 first since the total number of terms is equal to 17 so therefore our a sub n is our a sub 17 which is our last term of our sequence 
So to find a sub 17, we will be using our arithmetic sequence formula. But before we will use the arithmetic sequence formula, let us now have these values. So our n is equal to 17, our d is equal to 9 minus 5 is equal to 4, and also we can use the third term 13 minus the second term 9 to check whether we still have the same difference and that is also equal to 4. And our first term is equal to 5. Substitute these values to our arithmetic sequence formula. We have a sub n, which is our a sub 17, equals 5, which is our a sub 1, plus the quantity of 17 minus 1 times 4. Then, simplify, we have a sub 17 equals 5 plus 16 times 4. A sub 17 is equal to 5 plus 64. Therefore, A sub 17 is equal to 69. Since we already have our A sub 17, therefore, we can now find our S sub 17 or the sum of the first 17 terms using the formula given above. So we have the following values, n equals 17, a sub 1 equals 5, a sub 17 is equal to 69. Substitute, we have here, s sub 17 equals 17 over 2 times the quantity of 5 plus 69. To simplify, always follow the PEMDAS rule, meaning to say, we will begin with the parentheses. So we have here, S sub 17 is equal to 17 over 2 times the quantity of 74. Then, multiply. Therefore, our answer, S sub 17, is equal to 629. We can also use the second formula to answer our first problem. So given these values here, n equals 17, a sub 1 is equal to 5, d equals 4, substitute these values to our second formula. We have s sub 17 is equal to 17 over 2 times the quantity of 2 times 5 plus quantity of 17 minus 1 times 4. Again, apply the PEMDAS rule. So we have here 2 times 5, and that is 10. 17 minus 1, that is 16. Copy 4. After which, we have S sub 17 is equal to 17 over 2, then 10 times quantity 10 plus 16 times 4 is equal to 64. Then you add the numbers inside the parentheses we have 74, then S sub 17 is equal to 17 over 2 times 74. Therefore, our S sub 17 is equal to 629. So, whether we will want to use the first formula or the second formula, we will still come up with the same answer. Second example, find S sub 10 if a sub 1 equals 5 and A sub 10 is equal to 68. So that we can immediately find S sub 10, therefore, we will be using the first formula. And that is S sub n equals n over 2 times the quantity of A plus 1 plus A sub n. We have these values here. 
n equals 10, a sub 1 equals 5, a sub 10 equals 68. Our a sub 10 would be our a sub n. Since we are asked to find s sub 10 meaning to say the sum of the 10 terms. So since we are looking the sum of the 10 terms for the last term of the sequence is a sub 10 and that is 68. So let us now substitute. We have s sub 10 is equal to 10 over 2 times quantity of 5 plus 68. Follow the PEMDAS rule. So we have here 10 over 2 times 73. Multiply, therefore, s sub 10 is equal to 365. Therefore, the sum of the terms, the sum of the 10 terms is equal to 365. Let us consider the third example. Find s sub 10 if a sub 1 is equal to 5 and d equals negative 7. In this case, the appropriate formula can be used in finding s sub 10 here is the second formula. Since we don't need to use the a sub n or the last term in this formula. So we can immediately substitute a sub 1 and d to our formula. So we have s sub 10 equals 10 over 2 times the quantity of 2 times 5 plus quantity of 10 minus 1 times negative 7. Again, follow the PEMDAS rule. So you have 5 times the quantity of 10 plus 9 times negative 7. So we have here s sub 10 equals 5 times quantity of 10 plus negative 63. s sub 10 is equal to 5 times negative 63. Negative 53 rather. Therefore, our s sub 10 here is equal to negative 265. So the sum of the 10 terms in this example is equal to negative 265. And that ends our discussion on arithmetic series. Thank you.